Hey everybody, Angry Otter, coming to you from inside Clash of Clans. We're sitting here at the main base. Uh, pretty much what we have now is I've managed to save up enough gold. It's 500,000 gold in order to get the air sweeper put in place, so that's got about 14 hours to go. I, uh, I don't tend to use gems too much. The only reason why, I think, I only have... Yeah, I've got one more builder's hut that I can get, and I need 2,000 gems in order to actually get it. Uh, so I'm kind of saving them up as I can, which is... I kind of like it. As far as I can remember, I have not used gems to do any speed up except for maybe at some of the lower level tiers when I got really impatient and kind of didn't understand what gems actually were or how they were used or anything of that sort. But um, So we're going to go into a live attack again, I think. I need gold, but honestly there's not that much of a necessity for it. Um, I've got a little while until I can actually upgrade. I need quite a bit of gold in order to get up to uh, Town Hall level 7. So uh, let's just go ahead and see if we can't find a nice high, uh, a high point or a high uh, grab on gold here. If you hear any background noise, sorry, that's uh, my dog. He found uh, his bone, so he is chewing like mad. Let's see what we got here though. 49,000. I've only come across one farm base, I think, since I've been playing this. I've only been playing for about, oh, I guess I couldn't even tell you, maybe five months or six months or so. No. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut here until I can find something decent, then I'll bring it up on screen so you guys can see it and we'll go into a live attack, all right? So I'm just gonna be right back, hold on a sec. Okay, so we ended up finding this one. It's only got about 116,000 gold to its name, but with the amount of walls that they have set up, and this person has a few on the outside for uh, things, we're just going to go ahead and, I guess, jump right into it. Because this doesn't look like it's going to be too terribly difficult to kind of get in and take what we need. Wall breakers to get ourselves in. That one was actually meant to be a like that as opposed to the healing spell. So we have anti air still up, which is fine. We have to just go through wipe this clean if at all possible here. Maybe yeah, not to restart it, but we're just kind of looking to get the gold. I mean, it'd be nice to be able to fill up the playing castle with, uh, with the resource option. We'll just kind of take what we can get at this point in time. So, Anti-air is going after a healer. Giants are about to go after the anti-air, so we may lose our remaining healer, which we did. But we are still in good shape. So we've got a cannon left from the defenses, and everything else is still available, but no more defenses after this cannon goes down. And it's dropped. There we go. About to get 50%. There it is. Single star, 50%. About to get double star. Two stars for the town hall. And just kind of going and beating up on things. So, let's see how long this takes here. We may just end up having to kill it, depending on if we can drain them of the gold here, get it down to zero, because that's what we're after. I don't really mind cutting it early, since we may or may not be able to get 100% given the uh, army camps on the outside of this map. We're still kind of going. I mean, we might be able to make it. Now that they're clustered up, though, I don't know. It might be a little, a little sketchy. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to be able to do this one. Two guys going off to do one. Everybody else kind of going the same. We're just going to go ahead and end it. Victory. Get 12 cups. 3,700 for the bonus. She gave us a 100% bonus. I don't know why it quite did that, but that's okay. Still, two stars toward our max five. Got a large way to go for the treasury. And the whole purpose behind doing a, uh, a load up on your treasury is that as you're leveling up, once you get beyond the town hall level, it's really important to uh, to have the resources you need instead of having to wait to collect 
constantly. So um, let's go ahead and go over to the builder base again quick. And check out what kind of things we can research. Uh, we'll do research the boxer giant here. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into another attack on this one. And like I had done in the previous attempt, I'm just gonna stick to all archers and then just kinda do my best as I can, since again, I'm not the greatest strate strategist. But we're just here to kinda help them. Let's see how far into this thing we can get. Well, 50% single star, that's good. Very unlikely we'll get two stars. There they go. 60% one star. He's still attacking. So we're gonna watch it here to see how he's doing. He's at 45% and he's doing all barbarians. So that's not gonna fare very well for him, I don't think. Six left where he's in now. Well, maybe he will. Maybe he'll do just fine. Who knows? Down and down. There we go. No stars, 49%. Looks like we took that one. That's kind of nice. There's a victory. And we'll get the game. Good. Alright, well, we're just going to kind of leave it with that one. Make it a bit of a simple episode. Um, still waiting on resources for gold now to, uh, to be able to upgrade a bunch of the walls, which... Uh, I didn't mention before, but I had been told by uh, one of the gals I work with plays this game, and I'm actually in their clan. Uh, walls are usually the last thing that you want to update, but you want to make sure that you do in fact update them before um, before you upgrade your town hall. So that's what we're kind of working on now. Once the air sweeper gets done and we get all the walls built up, we'll be able to finally get ourselves to town hall seven. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Like if you want. Subscribe if you would like. Otherwise, appreciate it. Have a good one.